In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a bar with a line on top. So if I refresh, as you can see here, it will nicely follow along with the bar. So let's start to look how we can add a line on top of a bar chart in Chart.js 4. So we have here this border template, which you can find here on Chart.js3.com, getting started, or this specific link here, which you can find in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to join our Patreon and get the source code, check out here on our Patreon page. And of course, join the Discord channel. So what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to create here a very, very simple plugin. So here, after the options, we'll put a comma. So we will type in here plugins. And then we can say here maybe a top line. Copy this. Then we're going to say here constant top line equals ID of top line. And then when would we like to draw this? In this case, we would like to draw the top line after we draw the bar charts or the data sets. So we're going to say here after data sets draw. Let me that needs to be an S. Alright. Then we're going to say a chart arcs plugins. And then we're going to say here, we're going to do an object destructuring, although this one will be very basic because we don't need much. So we're going to say here, I need the CTX because I want to draw on the canvas and I probably will need the data because I want to grab later on these border colors uh, as a part of the line drawing. So what I want to do now is basically have access to every data point. And for that, I'm going to use a built-in function from chart.js, which is chart.get the data set meta data set one, uh, or index data set index zero dot data. By doing that, let's save that refresh, open up the developer tab. You can see we get an array. An array consists of all the X and Y coordinates. And that's exactly what I need to draw the line with the position, but also it gives us a lot of extra information. Anyway, the only thing I here basically need is the X and Y coordinates. So what I'm going to do now is say here, because we have here multiples, we're just going to say here dot for each. I want to look through every data point. So let's give this a shorthand of data point and an index, <coughs> sorry. And then we're going to uh, use the function error expression. And then in here, we're going to say ctx.begin path because I want to draw something. And what I can do here, ctx.save to save all variables above. There we are, but ctx.beginPath will say we are going to draw a line and this line is independent of anything else. So once we did that, I'm going to say here, ctx.strokeStyle, which is basically the color. And what I want to do is I want to get the colors of the border. However, I'll do that later on. I'll just give this black for now as the default. Then what I want to do here is give it a line thickness. So I'm going to say ctx.lineWidth. And the line will equal to three pixels. That should be more than enough. Then we're going to start to draw. So we're going to say ctx dot move to, and the move to will give us the x and y coordinates. So now we need to get the x and y coordinates. Remember what I earlier indicated was the x and y coordinates. This is the one that we need. So what I'm going to do here is basically every data point here is a breakdown of these items here and I'm just going to get here the x coordinate so data point dot x and for the y I'm going to say data point dot y then what I want to do here is draw the next part of the line basically we're drawing two dots and it will connect that dot this is the starting dot and now we have here the connecting dot so I say line two and then we're going to say here, well, we want a straight line. So I want to just paste it both in there, but it's a straight line. So this data point here, if it uh, has no other value, it will be just on the same position. So it doesn't draw anything. So we say here, I want to move it more to the right and just make it plus 20 pixels. So once I did that, I'm going to say ctx.stroke to draw the line, save, refresh. As you can see here now, it starts to work, but it is in the wrong position. You can see how do we get the width of this. Well, luckily, there is already a data, or there's already some additional information for that. And what we can do here is basically say console log data point dot width. Now, 
make sure we grab the data point that width that will indicate the width coordinates or how many pixels in width the bar has and in this case it is 69 point plus plus so what I want to do here is get that but if you look very carefully we are starting in the center which is correct because the x coordinate will grab the exact center here that will mean that I need to move to the left side how much exactly well the width divided by 2 because this is here the center of it so 50% of that width going to the left and then we go here so let's start to do that right now so what I can do here very simple I'm gonna say here constant half width and the half width will be equal to the data point width divided by 2. Very straightforward. Then what I can do here is say I want to start uh, more to the left and the closer to the left or to this side is equal to 0. So I need to, whatever is the value here, deduct it to go to the left side. That's what we're doing here. So minus. And then we can say here plus half width and let's save that. Refresh. And now we get it fully. However, if you look at this, let's push this a little bit more up because it is far too close. So what I'm going to do here to push it up, up is zero, down is whatever the maximum value would be in pixels. So if I want to go higher up, I need to say minus or deduct the amount of y value. So I'm going to say here, I want to just move this maybe six pixels up, minus six, save, refresh, and now we have a six pixel padding between there that is beautiful now as you can see here we have we need to put in color but also look at this here this is jumping away or outside the chart area I don't want that we're going to solve that later on as well let's first give it the bar color or the border color that we assigned here above so to do that we're going to say here in this part we're going to just go here basically to the data object that we already prepared so we say data dot data sets and in this case I'm just going to hard code data set zero because we only have one data set then we're going to say here border color and then we're going to put in here this value which is the index put that in there save refresh there you are absolutely phenomenal let's push this down now by doing the following on the y scale we're going to say enter and we're going to say here we want grace what grace does is give a additional tick so we're going to say one grace save and basically it gives an additional tick here to the very top so it will never hit the very top no matter what your value is so if my value is here 99 you will see it will then recalculate itself there we are maybe if you don't like that we could change that one as well but I'll leave it like that and that looks quite phenomenal